Hey, what's up, everybody? So this next episode, we're going to talk to a Yakuza. And James is going to ask all the questions that you want to ask, but you can't. And also, don't forget to stay to the end because James gets some unreal gifts from personal, personal gifts from the Yakuza guy. And we also go and walk through Yakuza world. Check it out. とある田舎町で生まれて移り住んだ新宿で育ちこの町で大きたこれまでの俺たちのここまでの恋たちは本の末たちの口試されたいちいち正してきた過ちただしてきた過ちただしてきた過ちただしてきた過ちただしてきた
that in the Yakuza group, mm. they were told not to work. Oh, okay. So Yakuza no put the It's just just to stop for the family. So how if you don't work, how do you make money? Oh, the, the bosses will give you money. Oh, okay. All, they, they, they all kinds of like scalp take care. It's all kind of different stuff, yeah. But they just don't know how much they get paid. Yeah, they would have to, for, for dignity, they would have to. The harder they work, the, the more they can make. Uh, okay. When you first started the Yakuza, uh, what's the initiation like? Oh, so the, the initiation is you go and, you go and say, pay respects to them. Mm. And then they make you drink this sake. And you say the sake is well um, regarded so highly that that's almost like uh, the almost like like uh, I don't know you say like, for that you you ready to put your life on the line for the oil because it's what such an expensive something. No, no. Oh, so he said they they're given that that mm. thing. It's a little but they drink out of, and that's like that's like a price possession. He still has it. So there's nothing written on it. It's just that is a big symbol and a big. The for, for, that's like their prize to so have that. How, as a new yakuza, how would he earn his trust so that they are comfortable with okay. having? Okay. Him? It's easy enough. It's easy. Easy. Nine in the morning, you know. Nine. Easy. If you want to go to the you go to the office. Really? How? Do you have to go to the office? Yeah, but the you know, you have to tell me you want to be officer, he's okay, come, we'll take you. <laughs> okay. Why is it so easy? Uh, they want a big group. So the more they can make the barrier. He's saying a lot of the a lot of the groups are the real stupid people that become Yakuza. So mm -hmm. what happens is a lot of people make mistakes, they cut their finger or they go run away instead of cutting their finger off. They start doing drugs. He said, so even if you have 100 people in the group, it'll, it'll definitely um, not increase, decrease wow. in numbers. So the more you have, the more, um, more chance. sturdy your group is. Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. Can you say, explain, it's, uh, it's very different compared to maybe like the Western Mafia or something where you really have to like burn your trust to join the yeah, He knows, he knows all that. He said, yeah, he knows it's different. He said, yeah, he understands that he's, because he's Japanese, he probably believe, couldn't become a American Mafia. He's saying that he believes that he could become a Mafia. Oh? Because he said that to get high up in the Yakuza is super hard. You really have to show your, your trust and loyalty. So he believes the higher up guys could probably become Mafia. Why, um, what sort of things do you have to do to gain your trust in the Yakuza? So he said, one big way is to make us take a sacrifice for the boss. Mm -hmm. Like go to prison, or take a, a rap or something. The another way is to show your consistency and your, 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 um, what is that? Uh, your, what do you say, your properness, like, you know, like meetings, they have a lot of meetings, a lot of gatherings. To draw for everyone else. Right. Right, right, right. What would he say is the most important thing to know when becoming? So the guys who can get real high up is the guys that can read ahead. Mm -hmm. They not be told what to do every little bit. Okay, we'll do do this, we'll do this. They can say, after training, we're going to clean up. Call for everybody clean up. You got to tell him to do everything. It just gets hiring for the higher up guy. Mm. But the guys who can already read and take initiative to do stuff ahead is the people that can get higher faster. So the people that are proactive, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's funny the similarities between just a normal job. <laughs> like if you said, that's the oh, skills. the same job. So he said it's the same, but when you screw up in a regular business, and you screw up in the Yakuza world, the screw up is a way bigger punishment. Like what? Whoa. So much you got to Oh. So much you got to Never made any mistakes. He got his fingers. So like a little mistake or the beginning, they'll make them shave their head. 
Uh, the next thing that happened, they had me to get beaten up. Oh. Uh, and then they, they keep making the same mistakes, so they keep making mistakes, and they come up to this. And he's saying that, yeah, when it gets so bad, they'll just tell you, give me, bring your finger. There are some people that feel like they've done something wrong, so instead of being told, they just do it themselves and bring it over to a father. So what, what would um, classify you know, as a mistake that would need that money? Oh, it's like simple problems. They don't really do that. Awesome. Like the morning when they're supposed to come, they don't come. Oh. Oh, hey, so there's a kid up. So I always say it depends on the, the top of the bus. He said it was the Ensign's group and Ensign ran the group, they all be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Can he um, think of any like specific times where people lost or. Oh, he has seen personally. Yeah, like any, anyone she, he remembers. She, like, oh, he's the, one, he's the one that cuts it too. He's been cuts. Oh, shit. There's like a chisel. Oh. Oh. Wow. I suppose it would be good too. So the So the So the the first is that first uh, you cut the first joint. So what happens when they cut the finger is they gotta cut the first joint. So the smart people what they do is they cut above the joint because when they cut above the joint, they would have to pull the skin back, shave the bone down to stitch and pull it over. So 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 yeah. so. So what happens is if they cut here, then when they shave the bone down, it'll be at the joint. The stupid people they cut on the joint, and then what happens they gotta shave down. And it'll be even shorter. Put up the procedure in. One, two, three. So one finger you can make three mistakes. Wow. But you cut this, the first mistake. Second mistake, you cut this. But if it's a as the, it's a, you wanna show your bigger apology. So what he was saying was that uh, when you cut the top joint where it has the, the nail on it. That's like the, the biggest, the, the most respectful apology. Mm -hmm. So if you, a lot of times they use that for like if you if you fucked up with a, another family and you don't want to make that other family mad at your family. Mm -hmm. So if you cut this one on the first mistake, and the next one should be here, but it's a real big mistake and you got to really like make up a real big apology, you cut this one. So you kind of touched on it there. In terms of like, with other families. Is there quite a lot of that, like gang warfare? She said a lot of the, the, the problems are solved with finance. Money. Oh, okay. He said, but the only problem with that is if this the rich guy comes and he takes care of the problem with money, he's gonna get claims from all their angles that he didn't want money because they know he has money. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> what, what does a typical day look like for like maybe a lower rank user and maybe like a boss? So lower guys gotta when they have that they have this office, they gotta stay there 24 hours. Oh. They sleep there, they gotta clean, they gotta um, make sure that the if someone comes they, they give tea, they bring the tea, mm -hmm. the guests come to bring the tea. So they 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 have to stay at the company 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So the higher ups you would have to drive for them, whatever they want to do. So you have to be pretty much on call for the higher ups. Okay. Yeah. And so what about the higher ups? We don't hold up. I'm not going to eat. You know, just, they do whatever they want. Oh wow, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why they, they want to be connected. That's the that's the goal of this thing. What sort of things do they like to do? Well, whatever the person likes personally. Or golf that the golf the golf. Oh. They go to golf or whatever, whatever they like, whatever the person, whatever the person likes. So, it's, for example, if he, he wants to go golf at five o'clock, mm -hmm. four in the morning, they're waiting downstairs. Oh. As they, if they're, if they're, as he's golfing, they're in the car waiting for him. Oh. So like for example, if I go, if I go, I take a, a higher up guy to a phone with a drink, and I drive him there. If he wants to come earlier, he'll call those guys, and they gotta come right away. Oh, okay. No matter what time it is. Okay. So we're on court. Wow. <laughs> what are some of the key ways Yakuza make money? Drugs. On that. Ladies. But uh, buy shimple. So, so buy shimple. Like, like, in um, porn or like prostitution. Okay. Uh, uh, like gambling. Uh, 
Purebred was okay. He said. He's because of the tattoos. Uh, kids come to the chat. Yeah, yeah. You can't have them. So he, so he said that. Uh, the reason why they don't want to, like I said, that like if you're training with them and you miss, make a mistake and pop the arm because you don't need taps, but you don't know, then it, they'll have a problem with a young than a regular person is a huge problem. And then he said that, um, to be honest, he said that there's a lot of young people there. He said, if you get into a street fight with them, strong ones are very little. But not many strong ones. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Say, but their strength is being a yakuza. People see that they're yakuza. They don't know. Uh, yeah. So he said that we don't have a fight, so we're not scared of them. Like the last time when we were a kid, the guy first showed his chest and he showed his finger missing. And he said, this is what we fucking with. And he said, yeah, at the moment, like most people are scared of that. But even if you're not scared of that, the problem is you can beat them up. What's the problem is after that? After they eat quite good. After they eat, they all do come for you. Going back to what we said before, right, about how it's harder to be a Yakuza. Do you find that less people are trying to join the Yakuza? None. There's none that want to become Yakuza. Oh. He said, yeah, nobody wants to be. But in fact, a lot of them are quitting. He oh. said that Yamaguchi Gumi, the biggest clan, you said, 40,000 people. Oh. Now there's only a couple thousand. Oh. He said his uh, group had 20,000. He said about 2,000. Do you know what they said? What? What does he think the future is for your group? He said there will they'll always be there, he thinks. He said, but they're, they're kind of almost losing all their power. Yeah, the bigger ones are the big industries. Are there any things? All into the, like, the samurai era. Yeah, 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 because it has these... Oh, hey, come on. Back in the day, like, long, the samurai era, there were, like, 2,000 yakuza in each group. It's a good one. I'm trying to... 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 Yakuza <laughs> are, are very <laughs> polite people that join. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, they're, they're real nice now, but they get scarier later. Oh. <laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> you said that the, I know only like really high up guys. Oh. So you know they're, they're really nice. You said. The ones that have that little bit, they want to pull up is all the lower guys. The Yakuza are real hard people, but. I'm sure you're older than it. I'm sure. Like you, you got real nice when you got older. He's like, it's in his because of Sarah. That's funny. Check out. He said this. He feels that if Sarah, I didn't eat Sarah, it would have been no different. It's all my mother. 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 He'll probably be in jail right now. Oh. So, like, for example, like, uh, a real example of when you, uh, people that, you know, a way of, uh, Taking the, the blame for somebody that if he if he did something for me to protect me and he got in trouble for it and I found out I would out of responsibility I would go and offer my finger instead of his I would have my finger for him. Uh, he said you might not like what I want to say next, but he said your thinking is really down the lines of the Yakuza type of thinking. Oh really? Uh, he said like if I have a friend that's in trouble, I will go my you risk my life for it. You see, that's how Yakuza works. So he's like, for example, the Yakuza style is that he's getting protection money from his foot. And another bat comes and makes trouble to them. He comes in and sacrifices himself a waste of his shop. Because he's collecting protection money from them. So he has a responsibility to protect the people that he, he takes care of. Him. What, was, uh, what was the thing he found most challenging being a Yakuza? He said, the, the, what hurt him the most in his whole career is when I had a problem with his family. It was his family I had a problem with. Oh. They would then run, us, run us over. So when I was Whoa. pissed off at them and I was fighting with them, mm. he said that that was the hardest thing for him because he heard guys from his family say, you a fucking incident. Mm. He's, he's hard trying to tell him, no, he's, the, he's, he's a good guy, but, but he, he has to defend his family. So with me, I was having a little problem with his family. It was the hardest thing for him. <laughs> <laughs> so he said he knew, he knew Darren. He said, all my friends. He said, oh my God. 
もうもうずっとこうでもう<笑><笑> Now the guy that I had a problem with, he went in prison, but now he's a k u n i c h o which is the top of one of the one of the families. Oh, really? Yeah. So I said, oh, we should beat him. He said, no, no, don't beat him. He's not a good guy. Oh, yeah. So I told him that when, when I had a problem with their family, the top guy, but I, I didn't take any money from him. I, I, so he did say that he does. The top guy told that guy that if Ensign ever needs a problem, he'd care to come in and help take care of Ensign whenever I said, With that, wouldn't he honor that? He said, Probably not. He probably act like he doesn't know. Because from there, the guy who made him promise that, that boss, he died. The next boss also died.、Oh. So from that problem, there's three different t u r n bosses there again. He said, So that problem is like the past. It's a lot of deaths. How did they die?、Huh? The guy that, so it's just like the, it's AIDS and HELP. Oh. The guy that I, have, I knew and I had, I, I was the negotiator with, he had like a, the g a n e r s It was an AIDS also. Has there ever been a time he would, thought he would die? Yeah. So there was a big problem between two families. And at, that, at, that, at that whole meeting, One of the guys that was in one of the families stood up on the other family from him. And he was kind of h a p s o n d He was in the front, like right in the front room. Shot the guy next to him. He was close away. So he said the guy shot the guy, shot like three bullets, pop, pop, pop. And then he, did, he still was shooting. He said he had to run and grab his boss. He was just sitting like two seats over. And he had to grab his boss and drag his boss. The other guy was still shooting. <laughs> Wow, so the boss was his first part. Yeah, wow, it's horrible, right? <laughs> Now he feels like if he died for something like that, so stupid. Oh, really? Wow. He's saying that right now he thinks about, you know, he would die for his family, he would die for that, you know, after the boss. He said, right now when he looks back, he said, oh, that was kind of stupid to think like that. And I just explained to him, I told him, yeah, I actually have the same feeling because. And I met h o i s e I told h o i s e that you know, you're the reason why I have my fight style, that, which is actually plugging him that I have such a big reputation because of my fight style. That you're the reason. h o i s e looked at me and kind of woke, woke me up in a way that、like、he said, Yeah, what the fuck were you thinking? Isn't that pretty stupid to die in the ring? I said, I t a l k e d I said, Man, no shit, I would never want to do that now. Yeah, he s t a r t e d laughing about it. I said, Well, why don't you do it? It's all the same thing.、Yeah. So the, the, the Yakuza he gave me that b o l to try it was the most important thing. It was the most important thing. It's a good one. I just like that. For him, it's, like, it's, such, a, it's such a huge memory. I don't know if you have to do it. So, I'm going to do it. 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 He said that it's so important to him. That even today, I mean, he quit here and t r i n g to win. He said, when you really look at it, he said, it's like this. It's like something like this. There's nothing, nothing writing. He said, but his whole feeling is in that, how important it is. It's so important to him. And he said, oh, Mishra.、Mm-hmm. He said that, so this, whatever, that, that thing that he has for him, his, his, so far as feeling, his loyalty, his, his honor, everything is in them. That is like, that encompasses everything. So it's super important to him. So he said that. But he just said the end, really said to me, but he said the end, and said that the one time I went to visit him, he was in prison. But that time he was in prison, he was、uh, actually protecting the casino b u s t e r The casino got busted.、And、the casino was take, take, protected by his family, so he was just the one that's collecting. But they were actually after his boss. And he said he went inside and took responsibility for his boss. I didn't know that, I thought. I'm going to take this off. 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 So the gym, the gym, he said, our gym was actually getting money collected too, but it was the health center was connected to the gym. Right. And of course, for the health center. <laughs> was there ever anything he was asked to do that he really didn't want to do? A lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's what the, the boss wants, not really what he wants. Was it?、Uh, what sort of thing? t a t t o o a box. So, like, something real simple. Like, his boss was friends with a guy that owned a car company. I know what? A car company. A car company. And he was friends with someone who poisoned that car company. One of the fr- his friends quit the car company. So, like, after the boss asked him to go hurt that guy. Oh. <laughs> the, the, the rule, the, what the Oyabun asked him to do was to hurt the guy where he cannot work anymore. 
Oh. So you cannot just punch him in the face. And he said that what he found out then is, you know, it's like, Koko, koko, koko ureta. So it was hard to break someone's arm. He said he went with a, they had a bat. He used a bat, he said, but he said he, he already he could hurt the guy. He couldn't break it. It's hard. It's hard to break it. It's hard to break it. He said, yeah, you, you just hit him with a bat. It doesn't break. He said, you're right. He didn't break. He said, he beats him. He said, next thing you know, he said, shit, the guy never broke anything. Is there anything he saw that really shocked him? There was a problem that somewhere that they went to. The guy was, they went to go scold the guy or, or punish the guy. And the guy was, says I was sitting on his knees. And then one of the one, young guys was so pissed off, he whacked him with a golf club. And the golf club hit him right in the head, right here. And he fell flat on his face. So he went to get to this mad, he went, sit up, you fucker. He pulled him up, he sit him up, he went, boom, fell right back down. He was already dead. Whoa. He pulled him up again, he went, oh. Did the young guy have to face any punishment for that? Well, he got lucky, he said, because the doctor that wrote the medical report on the death was one of the, the boss's friends. Mm. So he wrote that they had like a, a aneurysm or hemorrhage. <laughs> so what, another thing that kind of really freaked him out was there's a girl that lied to the police and got a lot of the officers uh, arrested. Mm. So he said the girl is a real, real fat, ugly girl. He said, he just said it to a point where if you saw your, your dick would shrivel. And he said that they got her naked and then because she did that, they heated up a fire pan. And then they put it, they slapped it right onto her back and then just burnt her back. He said that was kind of wild when the baby was screaming and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, it's like putting that on your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you, know, you, you cannot say if you killed somebody who's more than that. So I said, I said that um, I've never killed anyone. But I always was worried because the, the, the life I was living, it was pretty much going to that path that I would have to. And he said, yeah, I know, you probably would have had to. And I always held back. I really didn't want to do it because I felt that once you do it, it's going to get easier and easier. And he said, yeah, it will get easier and easier. Oh, uh, so you got plenty of that types of guys that, that just love being tough, guys that love girls, guys that um, love money. And he said, guys that love drugs. He said, a lot of guys that have a, a little bit of like violence. A little off. Yeah. He said, those, yeah, those guys are all crazy. Is there many of them still around? Yeah, this whole generation has changed. Like, they go to the police now. He said before, whenever there was Yakuza trouble, never go to the police. There's like a, the, they call it like the, one, there's two sides of the fence, yeah? the, the legal side and the illegal side, or the organized crime side. Like for me, we're on this side. So if I had problems with somebody, you never jump the fence and go to the other side for help. Mm -hmm. You always take care of it within the family, that's like this side. Yeah. So he said, yeah, so the people, the, the underworld people who would go to police before in the back of the day, would lose face. Now they all go to the police. Uh -huh. He said, now before, if they killed somebody, he said, the only way the police would get somebody is they come and turn them so then. He said, nowadays, if someone get killed, the police go and arrest them. He said, back in the day, it was impossible because they would get no information from nobody. Wow, it's completely different. What made him leave? He said that his feeling, his uh, his heart changed. He said he no longer had the heart to die for the family. It was almost the same with me. I, I, I no longer had the, felt like I wanted to die in the ring. I had nothing else to gain in the ring. What, was there uh, anything that made that change? So he said, like, for example, if you you went to prison for a friend, say, like, one of your best friends you were drinking with, he had a problem and you sacrificed that one and said you did it and went to prison for him. You sacrificed that and you went, came out. And you came out. He said, if they came up to him and said, hey, thanks for, I'm so sorry for what you went through. Thank you very much. He'd be like, ah, cool. But if they didn't even say anything, oh, you, you just did it. You, you decided you wanted to do that. He said, oh, fuck, his feelings just disappeared. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So that was so Makes sad. Sense. He said, what he felt was that the moment he felt that he had no more loyalty to the boss, he, that's when his, he died as a Yakuza. And he said that the feeling, that kind of feelings for loyalty for someone, and that's something you can just teach. Like a lot of other Yakuza said, hey, we will talk to him, we will make sure that, you know, he says something to you. And he said, no, it's not the same with me. It's changed. Mm -hmm. Was it, 
Was it hard for him to leave? Yeah, I made a photo that he was Yeah, super. Really? So you think that well, the simple way would be just to cut it off. So the guy I had problems with, he said that if you want to quit, cut your finger and give it to us, then you can quit. So he said he did He did it. It was hard for him because he didn't do that. He said, but it was, it was the thing is, is, you know, he knew people wanted to get him, but he said that he had so many high up friends in the family. He said no one could touch him. I just want to say thank you for your... Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to let you guys know right now we just uh, finished our interview and now we're at uh, this place called they call it Yakuza Dori so what that means is Yakuza Street so what they believe on this street is what the, what the rule is here is no one but Yakuza can drive down this street so we can walk but so we're just gonna take you through the street so it's in the front of Omiya station and it's in the middle of all the restaurants and arcades and it's actually a street that um, you can drive down, but you're, the rule is you're not supposed to, so don't really know what that means. Have you ever driven down this road before? Yeah, um, there's a lot of times that, uh, it wasn't because I was being a dick or anything, it was because when we go to, a, we had a Thai massage place down the corner that we used to go to. Oh. And then whenever we used to go to, to go, to not pass this road, we had to go all the way around the back. I figured out, fuck it, we just drive through here, so. It was funny because um, when I had a Hummer, they all knew I had a Hummer, so whenever we drove through, it was real boring. Nobody would do anything. Mm -hmm. But then when I changed my cars and I crashed my Hummer and I got a very regular van, when I had the van, um, there was one time where they actually came and blocked the car. Oh, wow. And then, and then there was this fat dude that was in the car and I was about to yell at the window, oh, you fat fuck, get out of the way. I was like, yeah, devil, don't get off. But as soon as I was about to hang my head out to shout, they recognized who I was and they said, oh, answer that. And they came and talked to me. And I think at that time, it was just a time when one of the bosses died. So they're telling me about when the bosses uh, uh, funeral would be and stuff. So yeah, so that was that, just that one incident. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe one day, next time you come back, we go into like a regular sedan and drive through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over oh, the car. Better yet, <laughs> I'll stand at the end and watch you drive through. <laughs> Imagine See not, what happens. Not just um, someone that's not Yakuza, but a foreigner. A foreigner driving down, foreigner driving down Yakuza Street. That uh, could be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how, uh, <clears throat> you know, on this trip I've seen you get so much respect from like other fighters, um, but also it's like the underworld, right, as well. Mm -hmm. so got, like this. You know, I got lucky because my fight style, you know, at, at, when I was a, a active fighter, mm -hmm. I was super bummed because Masato and Kid would have all the girls. Right, and I never, I never had girl fans. If my, if a, there was a girl that was my fan, her boyfriend was a fan or her father was a fan. Oh no way! So whenever I walked in the area, you could hear all right, in Sydney, no way, all guys. <laughs> you hear Masato walk in the ring. I mean, the yeah, arena. Masato. It's like Masato, yeah, you know. But uh, now no it's like, at that time it was like, ah oh, shit, that's kind of bummers. But now it's better because you know the girl fans is funny because when Masato retires, they forget Masato. And they're cheering, oh, Takela, Tenshi, and the new guys, yeah. But for me, it was the guys, it's the fans stay free. Yeah. Yeah. So I walk in the arena and still, I don't get maybe mobbed like, uh, you know, the, the current top fighters now, but I still get a lot of respect. I still get some autographs, some pictures. Yeah. 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 So it's good. My fight style, what I found was really good. The reason why I get so much respect from the guys and from the underworld people yeah. is because I somehow my style is scary, so there's a lot of fear involved in it. Yeah. And also I carry myself with a lot of honor. So I always tell people that the, I got the best two combination is I got respect and fear. Yeah. So with respect alone, it's not gonna carry too far. Fear alone isn't gonna carry too far. But respect and fear, that mix is so perfect that I have, is so perfect because even, you know, all the gangsters, uh, the Yakuza people, um, the respect and the, the recognition I get from them is super cool. Yeah, no, definitely. So, <clears throat> to the Bakugai Jin like myself, what are some of this stuff that we're like walking past? What, what, like, girls bar? What's yeah, girls these are our girls bars. Yeah, what's the girls bar? So the girls bar is the ones that the girls can't sit next to you. Okay. Yeah, girl, girls bar to cabaret no chigai wa. Tonari ni suare nai ya girls bar. Ukuo de, nani, jikan no mon demo aru. 
契約時間とかそれも関係ない基本的にもうガールズバーはカウンターのしああカウンターのしそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことでガールズバーはそういうことで Yeah, so、But、pretty much it's about, it's about just drinking with girls. And I don't think it's more, it's not so much about picking up the girl or fucking the girl. No. It's more、um, that if you and me are drinking and having a good time,、yeah. it's fun. But if you have girls to talk with, there's a little bit of change of atmosphere. A little bit of,、yeah. uh, it's a little bit more fun. You know,、yeah. like, ah,、oh, hey, what's up? And talk to the girl.、Yeah. The girl will comment. You know, it's more like a, a good vibe, right? Yeah, it's more like a social thing. So a lot of times they use that for、um, company, customers. They take them out and have a good time, you know. And you know, keep, basically, guys actually like girls. Not all the time, but so if your girls are around, it's almost like a treat. Like, your customers are happy, or your customers say,、oh, let's go to a girls' bar, let's go to a hostess club. It's like a good time. Maybe you can hook up, maybe not, you know. So, that's pretty much all it is. Just to the end of the road.、Um, one of the things that you see online quite a lot is people say that.、Uh, You know, a foreigner went into a hostess club,、uh, they were like drugs in their drinks, they passed out, they used their credit card,、oh, they lost all their money.、Oh. Is that common or is this just like kind of a.、Uh, probably in Shinjuku.、Oh, okay. I've heard about that having in Shinjuku. There was once when one of the, some of the fighters went to a bar in Shinjuku and they, the, what was advertised outside, they were about to leave. You heard of、uh, Asahi?、Mm. He went in.、Uh, Asahi went into a bar. On the way out, they were saying that you 3,000 yen ahead. Yeah. You can stay for an hour. They stayed for an hour, didn't drink much. They come out, they're getting billed a thousand bucks. Yeah. And so I got called for that to come down to just help them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So it does happen. And, and usually it's in Shinjuku. Oh, I don't know. Like this kind of places. And if, like, I've never had that happen. I've, I've never had any sponsors have that happen. Because usually the clubs we go to, they know the people, or they, they've been there before. So it's like, Reputable places, but yeah, if you go to those little dingy ones that look cheap in Shinjuku, good chance of that happening. Maybe we can send you to one one day <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah, that'd be good YouTube content. Yeah, I could, could you know, Miku did that, like where he went in, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we could yeah, do yeah, that when we were as a foreigner. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Let's have James do that.、Yeah. So, and when he calls me, I won't answer the phone for a couple, let him shit a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. So, yeah, so this is the notorious Yakuza Dori. So it's kind of like an unwritten rule. Probably, a, yeah, probably an unwritten old school rule, yeah. これ。これ、バッジ。右翼のバッジ。お、右翼。うちの右翼だった時のバッジ。This is the badge from the 右翼 the right, the right wingers. これは手に入れない。それは手に入らない。You can never get that. おすごいバッチこれ、住吉、住吉、the... 若い子たち。ああ、This is the, the badge of the, it has the 住吉 mark on it. This kind of stuff you cannot have, you cannot get. おすげえ。これ、組長。これ、ああ。<笑> this is the, when he was a younger Yakuza, this is the badge. And this is the badge for the 組長 is the leader of the group. チェーンついてるやつ。ああ。これ、That's a sumiyoshi mark. ああ、これだ。これ、大事にしてる。おお、マークあるんだ。あったあった。これ、sumiyoshi mark in it. Like a treasure for him. Yeah. 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 やめたから使わないでしょ。He said he's quit. He doesn't have this. Holy shit! Look at this. The Uyoku, the Sumiyoshi. Wow. No, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> How do I say? これは会社だったね。なんか。Too nice to one offer. もう優しすぎてもうもらえないんだって。あれなんかダイヤ。違う。これはね、あのそれも全部住吉。ちこれはあのみんな。ヤクザやってた会社。うん。そう、なんか、badge for the company that the yakuza used to run。ね、he said he knew he he went and looked for it
Because mm. he, he after the after the interview, he said it was it was so interesting. Yeah. He said that oh, he wanted to go look for it, found Something. it. He knew he had this. Holy shit. Yeah, you see, not going to have any problems if they find that you have it. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, but he said yesterday that was his prized possession. Yeah. So if you give it to me, I'd, it's too much. Like, <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, 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 it's He's an important friend, that's why. <laughs> if it's a burden for him to have, I'll take it. But otherwise. No, he said he felt that. He's not a Yakuza anymore. Right. So he would end up throwing it away. No comeback. 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 So, 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 all right, man. So we're closing off this episode. We're closing off on Yakuza Dori. An episode on Yakuza. So make sure if you are, like this, you know, if you have any other questions that maybe I can answer, write in the comments. And make sure you like, subscribe. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> right on. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Now you all know that James is now tied to the Yakuza. Like, subscribe, and share. Right on. Damn, James. <laughs>